What's up guys, my name is Matt Zeffi. Today I wanted to show you how to properly time ramp. In Premiere Pro, I'm gonna be using 2017. There are, of course, numerous ways you could do this. Um, I used to do it in a way where I would chop up separate clips and then just retime those individual clips. I found that this other way is much better to get that ramping effect. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how you can go above 1000% speed because this feature actually limits you to only 1000%. And if you wanna go above that, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I have two clips here loaded in my sequence. This is an HD sequence. Um, I believe both of these clips were actually shot at 120 frames per second. So in order to time or map, the course is like everything with editing, there's so many ways you could do this. The way that I used to do, do this was um, I would actually just come in my footage and cut it where I need to you know, time remap, and I would set this maybe, I think the original, like 400-ish, something of that nature. And then, I mean, that was a bad place to do that, but you see how it changes in speed. But the problem that I found with this is that you really weren't getting that ramp to it. So it's not, there's nothing gradual about it, it just changes from one frame rate to the other or at least it's playing back at that those frame rates and I found that extremely frustrating as well as it just it it makes your timeline really messy when you have so many clips chopped up like that so the proper way to do this is you can come into here you want to right click your clip and come down to show clip keyframes and then go to time mapping and then speed so that's pretty much the gist of it, and then of course you want to set your keyframes. This is also going to show up in your in your effect controls under timer mapping, but you could actually set your keyframes down here. So let's say I'm going to come down here because I know he jumps later. So I'm going to speed the entire thing up. I'm going to set my keyframe here. And then I'm going to drag up on this side because I want this to be normal speed. And since I, saw, I shot this at 120, normal speed is around 500%. So I'm going to drag it all the way up to 500. And I'm just going to bring this in. So now it's playing back at normal speed. And now it slows down just like that. So this change still isn't that gradual so what you want to do is you want to drag I guess it's like two parts of a keyframe so you want to drag that out and now you can see it really has that ramp there so as you can see it gradually slows down as he jumps you can move these freely and what's great about this is instead of cutting things up you can really go back and edit things how you please so I'm just going to use another example over here. Like I said, you want to come down, show clip keyframes, timer mapping, speed, and let's see. So I want this in slow motion. But then when when he comes down from the manual, I'm like right there, I want it to speed up. So I'm going to set my keyframe, speed it up. Of course, I don't have to set it to normal speed, but whatever, of course, faster would be better. So, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's, you definitely see that gradual ramp. As you extend it longer, you're going to get that ramp more. So, one problem that I faced while doing this is I'm gonna drag this over here just for the sake of showing is if I want to drag this up even faster I just gotta mention it something if I want to drag this up even faster I can only go up to 1000 and that's definitely problematic for me I've I've needed it to go faster than that in the past and I'm sure many others have as well and I really hope that they change this. It makes no sense to me. So what you want to do is you want to cut at the end of your keyframe. So once it's ramped up, 
you want to cut there and then select your clip that you need to speed up even more command R on a Mac or just go to your clip duration settings and then set it to however fast you need it so 200 is gonna it's gonna I guess yeah it's gonna speed it up a ton and now you're getting an even faster ramp Obviously, it's not ideal in this scenario, but I'm telling you now, there's definitely going to be scenarios where you're going to like that tool. Now, of course, this change is, is going to be more drastic and uh, a little bit more abrupt rather than gradually shifting speeds. But as of now, it's definitely something that we would have to put in a request to Premiere, I mean Adobe for. But this is just a temporary way to get around that, and it's currently the only way that is available to get up that speed. So I also have another sequence here that I want that I actually have music set to. So I want to use this same example in this sequence. I'm just gonna chop this down a little bit more. So I'm just gonna expand that up and I'm gonna show the speed keyframes here in my timeline. And let's say somewhere around there. <coughs> So yeah, now I'm going to set my keyframe there. I'm going to speed this side up, so I'm going to have to move it again, actually. But I'm going to speed this up to 500 since it's in 120. It doesn't have to be exactly 500. I just like to be precise. that's pretty much it. That's how you set it to music properly. So maybe the next beat you want to speed it up again or reverse it, some kind, some kind of funky effect like that. I mean, it's really all up to you. There's so much freedom with this effect. There's so many different things you could do. And I know you see it everywhere. So I hope you got something out of this. And that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. I plan on posting a ton more tutorials. Make sure to check out my other videos as well. I have some vlogs coming soon. Also, um, if you got something out of this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to comment too, because I'm really, I want to take your recommendations. Anything you guys, I appreciate anything you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.